control plane versus data plane. When we talk about routing and forwarding decisions in networking, control plane and data plane are the two key foundational parts of a routing decision process. In this video, we will understand both the concepts and how they differ from each other. Hence, here we start. Firstly, what is a control plane? It is actually the part of the router or layer 3 switch architecture that is concerned with drawing the network map or the information is in a routing table that defines what decision is to be taken with incoming packets. In networking, either we use static routes or dynamic routing like RIP, OSPF, EIGRP, etc. and inform the router how to reach a remote network. This is what we call as a control plane. Next, let's talk about data plane. In network routing, the data plane is also called as the forwarding plane. It decides what to do with the packets which are arriving on an inbound interface. Here, the router looks up destination address of the incoming packet and determines the path to the respective outgoing interface or interfaces. Data plane, henceforth, is moving the actual packets based on what we learned from the control plane. Now that we've understood the high level of what is a control plane and data plane, let's deep dive into and understand how both of them are different from each other. First, the control plane process is responsible for building and maintaining the IP routing table via static routing or any other dynamic routing protocol while the data plane process is responsible for actual forwarding of the IP packet. Second, control plane makes decisions about where the traffic will be sent. Its responsibility is to learn what we will do. While on the other case, the data plane forwards traffic to the next hop along the path to the selected destination network according to the control plane logic. Therefore, data plane is about actually moving the packets based on what we learned. Third one, the control plane packets are destined to or locally originated by the router itself. Whereas data plane packets go via or through the router. Fourth one, control plane packets are processed by the router to update the routing information table. While the router and switches use what the control plane built to dispose incoming and outgoing frames and packets. Next, control plane is the process of learning what we will do before sending the packet or the frame. Whereas data plane is about moving the actual packets based on what we learned from the control plane. Sixth, routing, that is exchange of routing information is performed in the control plane. Whereas switching, which is also called packet forwarding is performed in the data, that is forwarding plane. Next is that control plane includes processes like STP, ARP, DHCP, RIP protocol, OSPF dynamic routing protocol, etc. Whereas data plane includes decrementing TTL, that is time to live, recomputing the IP header checksum, etc. Lastly, router inserts the results of the control plane protocol into the RIB that is routing information base and the FIB which is forwarding information base. While in case of data plane, the software or SX, they use FIB structure to forward the transit traffic towards the destination. I hope you like the vlog. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.
थैंक यू वेरी मच